All right, good morning. My name is Jacob Harkins with Vintage View Wine Storage Systems. It is uh, another great day in Vintage View land. We are here to present one of our uh, five, uh, soon to be six webinars that we're offering on a monthly basis. The goal here is to always provide meaningful content, especially in today's day and age where we probably have a little bit more downtime or uh, you know, stuck at home in our work at home offices, et cetera. Uh, our, our goal is to give you something to think about and plan and hopefully give you a meaningful distraction in uh, today's today's land. If you look behind me, I am uh, currently virtually sitting in the tasting room of Deep Sea Wines in Santa Barbara, California. I really wish I was there and instead of sitting on a beanbag chair in my son's bedroom. Uh, that said, I, I hope that uh, my son does not barge in on me. You might hear a barking dog or any of those other distractions that have come with our new remote offices everywhere. Today's topic at hand is the W series and its companion framing systems. The goal here is to cover uh, the, the main, the bread and butter product of the Vintage U line. We are currently offering, we're starting the cycle again of our five uh, different uh, webinars that we'll be offering in the coming weeks, uh, full schedule at vintageu.com backslash get dash trained. We're working really hard to add a six this month as well. So be on the, or so this month in, in May, uh, that it will be covering uh, some great social media and marketing tactics that you could be doing today that will help your business today and tomorrow. So uh, be on the lookout for news on that. If you are unfamiliar with Vintage View, we are the company that modernized the wine cellar. We, we say that with the utmost sincerity. 19 years ago, this coming Friday, we became a company based on a simple wine rack that reinvented the way people thought about wine storage. We patented the label for design and we've been working with amazing design and build professionals in the years since and to continue to establish ourselves as that go-to wine racking uh, solution for great wine cellars in, in commercial and residential applications. So know that uh, we're here for you guys. We love working with you guys. And today's topic is about giving you a little bit more insight into our core products. And we hope you get a lot out of this. You guys are all on mute. So if you have any questions or comments, just pop them in and I will do my best to answer them. The W series. This is the label for design that started it all. A very simple, elegant wine rack, metal, that puts the bottle label forward. Label forward meaning you can see the label of the bottle as opposed to the cork. It seems uh, almost standard today to think about wine collecting like that. 15, 20 years ago, that was not the case. This is a, uh, this design came, was born of a, a really cool story, or one of two stories, depending on which one you wanna believe. Uh, they're both true, but uh, we tell one more frequently than the other. Our founder, Doug McCain, was at a restaurant and a waiter came up with a sandwich uh, board with bottles of wine glued to it to kind of show this, the future wines. And he thought, well, that's a really smart way to show off a bottle of wine. The other thing that really prompted him to create this in his uh, workspace workshop in Castle Rock, Colorado, was the fact that he had about 3,000 bottles of wine and a lot of them were going missing. Turns out he had a family member who was, uh, you know, lifting him up, relieving him of some of his prize collection. And because Doug couldn't see them and visually connect, he wasn't noticing it. So between those two things, he's like, there's got to be a better way to design a wine rack. And this is how the W Series wine rack became a thing. The racks themselves are modular, and we don't like that word, but we want you to, to kind of understand that so you can think about how you might be able to design with them. Every, if you look at every photo that you're gonna see in this deck today, every result looks custom. Our modularity allows us to expand, you know, minimalist to maximalist, up a wall, to the side, unique layouts and gives you the design professional, all the tools you need to make a custom result out of something that is readily available and easily understandable. They come in one, two, three, four foot sections. We're soon gonna have a one bottle tall section as well with different depths. Basically, you're gonna figure out what you need for style, storage, and the, the rack will support it from there. This comes with the neck and base advantage. This is core to the W series and core to us as a company. This is the patented design that we created nearly 20 years ago that sets us apart from anyone else in the industry. 
our neck and base advantage allows us to cradle the bottle offset with a individual uh, slot for the neck a little narrower and a little bit wider for the base piece. This does a couple of things. One, I think it looks the best out of the other things, but that's arbitrary. But it gives the better bottle security and it allows us to rest that bottle at exactly the right angle for long-term wine storage. Long-term wine storage is important uh, to consider the, the angle of the bottle because we need the moisture from the wine to keep natural cork safe. We cover that a lot more in our other webinars in terms of keeping wine safe, but it's a really important advantage that people can't really come as come close to in, in, in our landscape, at least not with metal wine racking. One of the things that we'll always speak to you about as our valued clients is we'll walk you through all this stuff and do a, a design for every single room that you need designed. So you don't never need to necessarily memorize any of the numbers that you're seeing here, but this graphic shows you the expandability and kind of gives you an idea so you can start to ballpark in your mind what fits where. When we look at our bottles of wine sideways, we, the width we always say is 13 inches. The wine racks themselves are not set to that, but that's what it will be, the space it'll take up with a, uh, with a bottle of wine on it, you know, factoring in the, the butt of the bottle and the, and, the and the neck of the bottle. So we have a minimalist balanced and maximum capacity, single, double, triple, deep. You can further define minimalist and maximalist by how close or far away you space them. We have Magnum and Champagne offerings, uh, which essentially just, we have a little bit wider of a spacing for those, as well as uh, slightly different cradle depths to, to account for those fatter bottles. And those come in single and double deep. And then we've got a, a great wine rack for our larger formats. So if you have three liter bottles, six liter bottles, we have you covered there as well as some accessories. So this just gets the idea that this is a modular thing that you're gonna build into the custom wine cellar of your client's dreams in both commercial and residential settings. They come in three different finishes and you'll see that in a second. So we've got our satin black, which is a matte black, uh, beautiful, classic, timeless. We've got brushed nickel, which is that real nice kind of stainless steel look with a little bit of texture. And we've got that shiny chrome. And as of uh, about five months ago, we launched the Chrome Lux. Now the difference being, if you look at these images here, you see they have rubber finishing pieces on the end, uh, both for the, uh, the rod tips themselves and the mounting hole covers. The Chrome Lux elevates our chrome, which is our premier finish anyway, by machine rounding those tips and replacing the mounting hole covers with uh, plated pieces. So it's a truly cohesive look that our customers have been telling us in that high-end area that they really wanted. In Chrome, it's blingy, it's flashy, and they didn't want anything to distract from that. So that is a Chrome Lux offering that is great for those high-end clients or those clients who just want a little bit of flash. Think Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami Beach, you know, bling, bling, bling. The installation of these, uh, if you guys have been watching any of our Facebook Live interactions, I installed one of these, uh, you know, with a with a clock timer live just to show the ease of installation. It took me by myself 13 minutes to hang a, a, a rack. Uh, that is uh, to say, I am not very handy, and these are very easy things to to uh, put into a wall. Basic skills such as leveling and drilling are all that's required. Why this is important is it knows that if whether you are the installer yourself or you are uh, trying to give some information to a general contractor who's doing it for you. These are not a very difficult thing to install. And we've got a lot of resources that we can provide you. We've got videos, we've got a lot of know-how. When you're working with us, we'll make sure that you have all that information so you feel truly comfortable, um, whether you are the one actually installing it or passing it off. We're gonna have you covered and give you a little bit of guidance on to how you might actually need to um, you know, estimate that for a bid uh, as well. So we've got you covered there, just, just reach out to us. The parts that go along with a W series rack, you know, the important part here is everything that you're seeing here comes with the wine rack. We've got your uh, drywall and your wood, drywall anchors and your wood screws. We've got the different pieces like the mounting hole covers, the end caps for everything, but the luck side, uh, you know, et cetera. These are things that, Generally speaking, you're gonna be with you whenever we ship the box. Uh, know that if you ever uh, misplace one or lose some or they were missing, we'll, we'll definitely send them to you, uh, typically with no charge within reason. So that's a, a good thing to remember. Also, if you are using our products a lot and you want any of these in bulk, 
to speed up. So every rack comes with an individual parts pack. And instead of having to tear open a hundred of these on a bigger project, we're happy to send you a bucket load of the toggle bolts, the mounting hole covers, et cetera, to make life easier. Just work with your rep on that. Uh, you know, within reason, we're happy to fulfill those requests. We call this section the break up the wall. Uh, the W series has evolved over the years. We've added different sizes to make it more uh, flexible to meet your custom needs. And we've added a, a variety of pieces for both practical and design enhancements. And that's what we say break up the wall. We've got the presentation row. So that's kind of how the, the waiter comes to your table, butt down. Uh, it looks great, kind of a, a visual breakup. It comes in a, a, with the equivalent of a standard three column wide layout or a one column li wide layout to, to line up perfectly with your different designs of the W series. So this is when columns are racking, it, you wanna break it up visually, your client, you are suggesting it, that's a great opportunity. You can do the same thing with a stemware rack. So this is great if you're do designing a wet bar, uh, in a commercial setting, something that needs to be functional where you want your glassware right there. These things line up perfectly in matching finishes to the wine racks and you can visually break up the column and add some really cohesive uh, practical storage. These come in single, double and triple depths. So you'll, it'll expand with whatever bottle capacity you're working with. Also important to note that when you couple them together side by side, it adds an extra row of storage. So it increases the bottle or the glass capacity by 50%. Uh, great, great add on there for those really functional, practical uh, needs. And then there's the perch. This is a piece that was launched to go on the side of a, the framing systems, which we're gonna show in the next portion of today's training. It is also a great single bottle rack. This thing is, and we're gonna, this thing fits a champagne bottle or a standard bottle. We're gonna have a Magnum option in about six weeks. The fabulous part about this is it really does a great job of, uh, again, breaking up that column. You can do three or four feet of racking, have one of these above it and go on. You can also put these on an angle up to 45 degrees for a real visual standout point. Uh, you wouldn't want to put a bottle of wine here for 10, 15 years because you're defeating the purpose of kind of keeping the cork wet for long-term storage. So it's just a great showpiece for that champagne or something that's going to turn over quickly um, or even an empty bottle, just visually, a lot of fun. And then we have our bottle retention straps. Uh, these are super handy if your clients live in California or an earthquake zone, or if you're dealing with res uh, commercial applications where the wine display is going to be where maybe a lot of uh, customers are walking by. This is a durable black rubber strap that really securely holds that bottle in there. Uh, number one, I would say, typically speaking, our racks, it's really hard to shake a bottle off of it without it. Um, so a uh, casual bumping into, you're fine anyway. But you have a lot of, uh, again, those West Coast clients um, or high traffic restaurants, they, they worry about uh, you know, a tremor, um, a small earthquake. This will have you covered in those instances. It doesn't cover you into you know major disaster, but that's a whole different story in and of itself. But it's going to be a really good peace of mind for any clients who are dealing with that thing. Um, so just a, a, a nice little add-on, and and they're uh, a relatively inexpensive upgrade to your collection. With all of our wine racks, um, little asterisk here, but um, after you order, we typically in a normal day and age we ship everything out same day if received by 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. Most of this stuff is in ample supply, so you never you don't really have to worry about uh, outages. Uh, right now, because of the COVID-19 and some limited warehouse capabilities, we are tacking on a 48-hour delay to that, so we're still shipping within two business days, uh, so we have you covered quickly there if you need them. Everything we ship is backed by a lifetime warranty. We believe in the quality of what we do, uh, we believe in every step we take for rust protection, for welding, for all those things. If you guys install this properly, which is super easy to do, as we talked about a couple of slides ago, we're going to back this thing and we're going to replace anything, any damage, et cetera, over the time. We have very few uh, warranty applications on a regular, on, a, on an annual basis, but we do take care of anything that has. And then insane customer service. If you need design, if you need help understanding the product, if something didn't get there on time, we're going to do everything we can to make it right. We are not perfect, but we are, are there to try and uh, make this, we want to be the easiest uh, manufacturer you work with on your projects. Because the end result is we want projects like this where they are headache free. 
this is an example of why I love this product so much. You know, we keep on uh, t talking about how this is modular to, to fit your custom needs. And when used in context with beautiful designs, whether it's a, a glass cellar or not, you have the exact result that you want out of this. This particular home is in the Los Angeles area. This is our bread and butter, triple bottle deep configuration of wine racks. And it looks just amazing because the designer behind this used you know, every bit of thought behind the, uh, the chandelier as they did the frameless glass, as they did the table selection. So this is being designed alongside every other piece that you're seeing there. Just great results. So the only limitation of our wine rack is kind of the imagination and the design context that you can provide it. The end result being I, uh, just about every re re review we get is similar to this. Outstanding, great value, except of course the, con the customer wants to drink a lot more wine. Um, they are awesome. So this is a direct customer and our goal is that when you're working with your customers, they have results like this. You can sell them on a great wine cellar and know that they're going to be so happy with the result, which is going to lead you to referral business, which is going to lead you to want to work with us more. And it's a win-win all the way around. We back our products. We think they're great and we want you to have uh, great customer reactions like this. Now we elevate the, y the W series by adding the W series wine rack frame. This is a mounting system that just brings infinite design flexibility. So everything you saw there was our, our wine racks being installed into to drywall or into finished wood, uh, you know, typical wall mounting. We know that sometimes you need a more versatile piece than that. So this frame was developed about 10 years ago, actually probably about 12 years ago to this, to really make sure that we had that, that ability to move that off the wall. So we see this for the glass enclosed wine cellars. The frame allows us to press those bottles against glass. We see this a lot where we wanna do a single sided display in front of you know, gorgeous millwork or tile work that we don't necessarily want to drill into or wanna give a little bit of visual context between. It allows us that flexibility. We see this as room dividers. We see this as you know, creating semi-private dining areas and restaurants, all sorts of things. It works very simply. Depending on the size, it comes in two or three pieces and it's cut to fit on site. We have 10 foot sections standard, we have 12 foot section standard. And what you simply do is decide if you want single or double sided, you select the frame, you attach the racking to the frame. If you're doing a single sided display, we have a backer bar that will support where the, the different pieces of the frame connect. If you're doing double-sided wine racks, that gives you all the support you need. Uh, very simple context, very simple thing to understand. They are available, as I mentioned, in a 10-foot section. That's kind of what we've always offered in matching finishes. So this is two 60-inch uh, sections that are coupled together. Uh, we have a magnum version as well that's spread just a little bit wider to accommodate the, the, uh, the taller bottles. The cool thing about the 10 foot section is if you're doing a in a under the bar section or something like that, you can actually use these into two pieces and create two columns of uh, 60 inches or less. And we'll discuss that in a little bit. New-ish, you know, in the last year, we, we are now offering a three piece version that expands up to 12 feet. Again, cut to fit on site, comes in matching finishes to the chrome, the brush nickel and the matte black really versatile when you're dealing with a project that has a little bit taller uh, height. And then we can also do 15 foot frames that are solid with some lead times that apply. Uh, and we can do big bottles for three liter, et cetera. Note that anytime we're getting into that semi custom, so the 15 foot and the big bottle sections, we can't do the exact matching finishes. We will do a, a matte black for the black and we've got a um, powder coated gray that looks great with the brush nickel, but it's not exact. And we do not have a a shiny chrome solution. This piece right here um, is a little outdated now with some of the new pieces that we've had to offer, but it kind of just draws you through how you select this. So I've, I've kept it in here just to, to understand the process of figuring out what you need. You pick your bottle, signal, standard, magnum, big, and you, you get to a point where it becomes custom. So single and magnum, we, ha we have a standard option for it. And then you just decide one and, and double-sided framing. Add a backer bar if you have single-sided, just proceed as, as planned with the racking that you've added for uh, two-sided. If you're 12 foot or less, 
you just go right on to um, the racking solutions. If you need more than 12 feet, uh, give us a call. We'll either do that 15 foot frame or use some of the accessories that we have to help you with your project. Step four is you would add in the, the mounting uh, pieces. This comes standard with that, that floor and ceiling mount that you see at the top, the, the standard base plate, but you can upgrade to a hidden for more minimalist look or to an angled piece if you need to go under a staircase or do something cool like that. Um, we also will sell you an extra base plate that looks exactly like the standard one there. If you're breaking apart these columns and, and, and using the 10 foot version in two individual sections, you'll just need to add that onto the open end. Um, so lots of cool options here. We also have uh, like a floor to wall bracket. So you can do, um, you know, essentially two inches off the wall. You can mount to the floor, go to the top of your frame, wherever that is, and then go back to the wall with this two inch, uh, two inch offset, you know, really versatile thing. We have an elbow bracket as well that will allow you to uh, do that same look, but come further off the wall. Um, so lots of options. We, we've, we've come with a lot of standard things to add based on um, requirements of different clients. Uh, so this is our truly versatile framing system. When you're working with us again, we're always gonna make sure that you don't need to memorize these numbers, but I just wanna be very clear that when we're doing these against glass or against other obstructions, you need to still be able to access the bottle of wine. And so these are just some general guidelines. If you are trying to get the bottle of wine from the side of the frame, so not like this picture showing, but actually the side, as long as you have the bottle height uh, clearance. So if you are, if, if you have, um, you know, a column every third, you know, with, with 13 inches of space between them. So like column here, column over here, you can easily just access the bottle from the side and you don't need to worry about necessarily any sort of clearance from the glass or obstruction. Um, if you are narrowing those center lines and putting those columns together, then you have to start playing a little bit of geometry because you're gonna have to tilt that bottle ever so slightly to get out. If you're trying to pull through the frame to get that bottle out, you have to tw t t uh, tw twist the bottle a little bit. So we're gonna recommend six inches of clearance from that glass if you're not gonna access this from the side. No need to remember that, but just know that you can't just put max capacity right up against glass and expect to have access to bottles. And this shows us a lot of people don't believe that we can do this through the glass. So we've got this cool little 20 second video that shows this. Interestingly enough, I had to actually create that video because people did not believe that you could get a bottle of wine through there. It takes a little bit of time, especially if you have three bottles deep on the back end of that, but uh, a lot of flexibility there. As I mentioned, this is matching finishes in satin black, brush nickel, chrome. A note on the chrome versus chrome lux, it's the same W series frame for both chrome and chrome lux. Uh, note that when we ship that, that means the coupler that we provide to connect the two pieces is still that rubber finishing piece. It's virtually invisible and you won't necessarily notice that, but unlike the um, elevated pieces of the rack itself, uh, just, just good to note that to your clients that there is one leftover piece if they're doing the chrome box. The installation of these, this is a little bit more elevated in terms of how long it takes and, and the skill because you have to cut into metal. That said, again, I can do this, which, which should give you a lot of confidence that, that uh, your general contractor yourself can handle this. We've got great visuals, installation videos that, that show this. Um, the hardware is included to essentially assemble everything together. So the way this goes together is you cut your frame, measure, cut your frames, couple them together, add your wine racking before you put them up into the, the, the position. And everything's provided to do that piece. We do not provide hardware for your floor and ceiling mounting. There's just too many variables of what you might be going into. So we have a lot of recommendations and you just need to know that you need to go into a hard surface. You can't do a drywall ceiling. You need either to put a beam up there or a plywood backing, et cetera, to, to, to do that. We can guide you through that, but you need to provide that there. Um, Remember that if you're doing single-sided displays greater than 60 inches, so you're putting two of those pieces together, there's a joist that needs to be coupled, that needs to be supported, and they require a backer bar. So just a, that's when you see the backer bar, 
single-sided displays using more than 60 inches, so two pieces, you need that there. These are the pieces that we've talked about as kind of add-ons, um, just to, to, to reiterate the flexibility. So the hidden base plates are just a minimalist upgrade. The angled base plates are great for going at a 45 degree angle or up to a 45 degree angle under staircases, et cetera. The extension brackets are a handy tool if you're doing a single sided display and want to go above 12 feet and don't want to worry about custom or mismatching finishes. You can take these pieces at a, and they come off the wall uh, two inches and we've got some other accessories if you need to come off a little bit further but they can support a 20 foot display a 30 foot display by putting these every five feet along there so that that's the the piece that that supports the joint so a lot of flexibility there if you want to do a you know go up against a, a 17 foot tile wall or some crazy uh request like that we've got the floor to wall bracket which again that's a lot of people will do this from floor to wall and they do this because they don't want to drill into all the tile or they want to get around a piece of glass or something like that. Um, we can also do wall to wall. So with those segments, if they are, uh, you can do like up to a 60 inch wall to wall. So you're mounting it at the bottom, wherever on the wall going up. So you're not drilling into tile or glass and then using this on the other end of that. So nice little segment there. We've got an elbow bracket that can serve do that same exact thing with um with the addition of one by one steel can bring that up to a foot off the wall depending on your requirements and then of course you've got the standard base plate that comes welded with your wine racks the only time you need to order those is if you're using our standard 10 foot wall series w series frame and using both pieces as individual columns they've got an open end so you would plop that in so you can do a two uh, 60 inch uh, columns under a counter you know cut them down from there Etc. If you're not doing that, you don't need to, to purchase any additional base plates unless you want a hidden or an angled or one of those other pieces. And the reason that we really love this product is because of examples like this. This is one of my favorite pieces of engineering challenges. This is actually a 22 foot tall wine room. It's covered in two different floors. This is the top floor and it's a, a glass frame, a glass floor that they mounted this, the, uh, the, the racking system to. On the bottom, you've got 12 feet coming up to this. We made them sign off that they knew their glass manufacturer rated that floor for the way that it would hold. It was crazy. We didn't think it would work. Um, but of course, you want to trust your, your glass fabricator knowing that it's going to hold the weight load of that. We can even give you the weight load that it would need to hold if you come into that. The great piece about this is now you've got a two-sided wine display that's accessed from from either side, open the doors, grab your bottle of wine. You can see right through it visually. It connects to a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, and behind there, more of a social area. So you've got a lot of flexibility to create that beautiful floating wine wall uh, that, that doesn't really visually interrupt the room and, and has that great connectivity to uh, the collection and to the entertaining zone for this, this residential customer. Again, racking is handsome and sturdier. It doesn't look or feel cheap. We would hope not. We've put a lot of design and engineering into this. The assembly is, is clear and it exceeded expectations. Again, direct customer, but this is what we want your customers to have. So when you're specifying these products, we want them to say this because if they're saying this, then they're gonna trust you for that next product project or they're gonna trust you to tell their friends and family about so get that great referral business. So we're gonna back all of our products with that lifetime warranty because we believe in it and we believe in the fact that your customers are gonna have this experience and you're gonna to wanna to work with us again and again. Um, our goal is to be the best wine rack on the market, the best company to work with, so that when you're considering whether it's this product or the other products that we cover in our other webinars, it's essentially a no-brainer. Of course, you're going to use Vintage U because it's the best product to specify, the best quality, the best value, the best design. Um, if we're doing that, then we're doing our job. And, and we've been 19 years as of Friday, we'll have been in business. So I think that uh, a lot of our, our building and design construction professionals have really had that great experience with us. And we hope that you guys will too. So that wraps up our W series and frames. We also have Vino series and beyond and some great kind of overall design selling tactics. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call, I'm gonna be adding a marketing webinar for May. So get the full list of what we're gonna be offering um, in the coming weeks at vintageu.com backslash get-trained. 
And again, you know, we are in a very weird time with our COVID closures and depending on what area of the country you're in, you might be totally shut down, partially shut down. You might even have life kind of normal depending on uh, what, what city government is kind of running your life a little bit. So we want to meet you wherever you need to be met. If you're totally closed down, we're hoping to provide a meaningful distraction to get you planning for the, when things do open up. And if you have, uh, you know, essentially, uh, if you're considered an essential business and can operate relatively freely, we hope you're doing it safely and that we can provide uh, any of these resources for planning and fulfillment. So let us know how we can help. And if you want a little bit of um, further distraction, 4.30 p.m. Eastern, our Mountain Standard Time today, join us on Facebook Live. I'm going to be dropping in virtually to uh, West Coast Wine and Cheese in the Bay Area to see a great wine bar, the application of the, ta the tasting room design with our wine racks, and of course, see how they're doing in this day of, of, of kind of a shutdown. So we hope you enjoy that content. Uh, send myself or uh, your sales rep an email if you have any questions, comments, if you'd like another topic covered. We're here to provide all the resources you can for all your wine teller needs. Uh, I hope this was meaningful. I hope this hit uh, the boxes of what you were hoping to learn. And if not, let us know what we can do. We are here for you. My name is Jacob Harkins. And again, thank you so much for spending about 35 minutes of your day today. It means a lot to us that you care enough to learn about our product line. With that, I will sign off from my virtual background of the, uh, the uh, tasting room in Santa Monica or Santa Barbara, where I hope to visit very soon. Uh, I'm, I'm getting some thank yous on the on the chat. Uh, you guys are very welcome. I uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Have a great day.